Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising. Weekly tarot reading for May 27th to uh, June 2nd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. Oops. <laughs> and we can go um, straight away into, uh, into the spread. Yeah, sometimes, so, sometimes it's, it rather happens, <laughs> some of the cards to fall down. Oh. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. So the first card, which uh, regards to the topic of your week, that will be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which represents the challenge that you will have to overcome throughout the week, that will be the Eight of Swords. Third card here, which uh, stands for the positive aspect of the week for you Cancers, that will be the King of Pentacles. And then the last card that we do have for you guys, uh, representing the challenge, in, uh, the uh, guidance, excuse me, itself, that will be the Six of Swords. So we do have the Two of Pentacles, <clears throat> which stands for the topic of the week, followed by the, uh, the challenges here, which is the Eight of Swords. Positive aspect that will be the, the uh, King of Pentacles and the last one that we do have standing as a guidance that will be the Six of, uh, of Swords. Alright, so just by the overview, that will be a rather very good week for you Cancers. It looks like that you are going to take a participation into a many, many enterprises and endeavors as well. Very productive especially regarding to career. Uh, if this reading manifests for your career unfoldment here, then you can expect that you are to be approached either by your um, boss, supervisor, or by a third party, being very uh, pleasantly surprised of, uh, you know, your um, managing skills, or in reality, how you adapt to the situation, and probably they are going to either invest in you, or uh, they're going to make a, a proposition to you that you may find it difficult to resist. <clears throat> Nor you should have to, all right? Uh, so uh, going to the first card, which is the Two of Pentacles, it does point how flexible you are going to be throughout the week. Fle flexible and easily adapting, mainly through a good timing, okay? And also through a how can I display it? whenever situation rather changes a little bit, you will start realizing that um, uh, proven, not proven concept, concepts, but let's say fixed ideas needs to be let go of a new way of um, performance should be discovered and you are going to be the one who discovered this way, which speaks very good for especially career. But if I have to give, but of course, as this is a general reading, I will give you as well an example in regards to relationships, all right? And uh, in relationship is equally good. It means that, let's say you start um, interacting with a certain person and uh, you know, you do have a certain lifestyle which mismatches significantly with the other person lifestyle and you are showing um, 
um, how can I display uh, not determination but willingness you know to readapt a little bit your lifestyle you know a day to readapt a little bit their lifestyle so you can match even better so it's kind of like a strafe toward a compatibility here and uh, the two of pentacles it's it's a very productive card when it comes to um, playfulness you know and uh, how can I display um, when there is no um, solid structure in a sense something is very in, in something either a project or relationship is in is in is in its very initial stage uh describing that you can you know shape it uh, let's say the most productive way the accompanied card here that will be the page of swords and uh, the formation it is a uh, passive enemies that we do have and uh, definitely uh, we can see here how things are going to change uh, not, not exactly change but readopt themselves and uh, the as the page it's an original thinker and it comes to the uh, as an enemy to the two of pentacles it means that the the original idea is going to change the original uh project is going to change for example the or the original understanding of one uh, uh, empathizement is going to change as well and you will be uh, very flexible and easily adapting like i said to this um <clears throat> forthcoming change and these uh readaptations that are happening having no problem whatsoever to align yourself in the most positive uh, standpoint or rather position in regards to the situation so the challenges themselves are appearing as the eight of uh, swords and uh, it's not much of a challenge to be honest so the eight of swords only thing it points is that through these adaptations or through these um through this havoc if i may express it that way which is happening uh, around you and in your either your career or either into your relationship you know you may have a pretty good idea you know what you can uh, withdraw from it or rather like extract from it as a benefit the challenge here it is to realize that you can go even for more that that is only challenge that you can uh, that you will have to overcome so the uh, eight of swords urges you to think even bigger than your than your initial uh, thinking if i have to give you an example straight away you know your boss accolades you for your work you are very pleased you know and you expect that you will have a bonus okay why not a raise or why not a promotion okay so you will have to um push even further with this good impression that you're gonna make either into your career or either into your relationship the accompanied card here that will be the ten of wands and pretty much correlates with what i say right now it, it means that you should not be um not pleased but settled if i may express myself that way with just the temporary achievement but rather you should even indulge yourself deeper into those uh, enterprises with that person that you may start dating with you know or with the project that will require your adaptation and so on and so forth furthermore presenting yourself more than capable <clears throat> and uh how can i describe uh, even um increasing the positive opinion that those people have for you your boss your supervisor the third party the, the your suitor and so on and so forth now unfortunately with these couple of cards as in an active uh, friends it means that you will have to uh, a little bit more please the other party the party that is assessing you and the party that is uh, uh, is holding you know your benefits in it, uh, it, and it is up to this party to give those benefits to you like a promotion raise you know and so on and so forth but at the end of, but at the end of the day it's uh, it's going to uh, worth it then we go to the next card which is the positive aspect and we're coming to the party itself king of pentacles most likely a man older than you are um, it could be as well a woman you know uh, but the king of pentacles it's a very generous person okay but you should not mistake its generosity for charity they will only invest or give you an opportunity only if you first prove yourself worthy for it meaning that capable not exactly worthy but let's say capable for it and that will happen like i said through your flexibility adaptation and um, uh, ability 
you know, to uh, uh, adapt yourself or align yourself with the new concepts, with the new ideas in regards to either career or relationship as well. And uh, what this person is going to do is that either they're going to propose you something <clears throat> or they're going to invest in you. OK, so that could be a proposition for a new job. It could be a proposition for a uh, relationship or it could be as well, you know, that your boss is it's quite amazed with what you're capable of and they sign you for additional qualifications, you know, or simply they increase your salary. Uh, if this is not a person, then this card points that uh, your friends are going to be um, quite amazed, you know, or your friends or supporters are going to be quite amazed with what you can do and they will lend you a, a helping hand as well. And through it, through your performance, you will build up a, a very solid, how can I describe it, a very solid uh, connections that you can use further to support your projects. The accompanied card here, that will be at the uh, Four of Cups. And I do believe that we're talking about your boss here or someone who is quite impressed with your capabilities. Because we, um, you may be jobless, you know, and uh, maybe you are sending uh, CVs everywhere you can. And someone reads your CV for the uh, position that you are applying for, you know. And they kind of says, well, this person is way over qualified for that position. So probably we're going to open them a, a different position. What these cards are pointing is that this King of Pentacles realizes that they are not using you or kind of like they're not taking from you the maximum potential you have. And you can be of their service much more, you know, if um, if we're talking about a, um, a, a career here. So most likely they will offer you a promotion or a raise of a salary, but with a condition, this raise of a salary or a promotion may not come throughout this week, you know, but there will be a condition and you definitely have an opportunity to compete for it. The final card that we do have for you cancers, that will be the Six of Swords, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. And the Six of Swords uh, represents the boldness and as well the readiness to jump into action, the uh, absence of fear from you to uh, indulge yourself into a even bigger projects or to chase even bigger fish in regards to our relationship of we're talking about. In generally, it does point where the fear does no longer kind of like restricts you and uh, rots your soul, if I may express it that way. And uh, basically, uh, as you kind of like um, do not, how can I describe it? Um, do not constrain yourself by the um, by the fear of that something could go wrong, you know, and instead you take a participation in those amazing things that are coming for you throughout this week. Well, then uh, you are going to conquer a, a new shores. The accompanied card here, that will be the Page of Cups formation. It is a active neutrals that we do have. So the page the, uh, with, uh, with this particular for formation here, the cards are pointing as a guidance is that the big change is looming on the horizon. It is on the horizon, all right? Not yet, but it is on the horizon. The thing with these cards is that you have a control over the change. It is not like you will have to um, align yourself with the change, but through your adaptation this week, you will obtain control over the change and you will be able to adopt it in a way that pleases you the most. That is only, guys, if you, like I said, have a good timing, being willing to let go of uh, fixed ideas and to, adopt, uh, and to adapt yourself according to the situation right now. So you can prove yourself flexible or present yourself flexible enough to take on a new project, for example, or to take on a new types of relationships as well. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot reading for a May 27th to June uh, 2nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.